Hey everyone, Cody here. And today we're gonna to be doing another Gerard Richter inspired uh, abstract painting. We're gonna be using black, white, red, and gold because that's like literally my one of my favorite uh, color schemes. I mean, really red, black, and white is. And then if you add like blue or gold, it's kind of solid. I, I just like that color scheme a lot. So now we're gonna do a couple things differently. Uh, first off, I finally put some thumbtacks into my little table here, so hopefully that simple solution will, will keep the, uh, the canvas in place so that when I scrape it, I don't have to like sit there and hold it like I did the last couple videos. Um, so hopefully that'll work. Uh, second, we're going to use a little bit more paint today than we normally do. Uh, I've just been doing like these really thin lines, but it just hasn't been enough paint to cover the canvas, I think. So I think that that's kind of where our issue is, um, is that we're, I'm not using it up. All right, then lastly, I wanna talk about the paints. Um, I, I'm almost out of acrylic, so I've gotten some suggestions on the types of paint I should use in the future, um, like maybe some glow-in-the-dark paint. I'm also thinking maybe just like strictly doing uh, only metallics, right, or neon uh, colors. So like glow-in-the-dark, neon, metallics, just different sets of colors for some of these paintings because I've been really enjoying doing these paintings. Uh, lastly, we're over 1,700 uh, subscribers, so we're at like 1,713 or something like that. At 1,750, I am gonna do another Pog style painting. Uh, so probably in the next week or two. So I will announce uh, when I'm gonna do that uh, when we do. So very soon, very soon. All right, so let's go ahead and jump in. We've got our paints here. I think you can see those paints, right? So I'm gonna put those up there and then we've got gold here. And I'm not gonna base the background. I'm not gonna do a base coat on the background. We're just gonna go ahead and get right into it. So I'm gonna scrape the whole painting this way today. I might, I'm gonna rotate it, but um, we're just going to go uh, downwards, like towards us, uh, because that's where the thumbtacks are. So we're gonna go ahead and start by putting our red on here. And again, we're going to do a pretty thick layer as opposed to normal where I just kind of do a really thin layer. And I think honestly that that's been my issue this whole time is I just haven't been doing enough paint per layer. And that's why I'm not getting um, enough coverage, honestly. So we've got our red on there. So we're gonna take our scraper, our plexiglass, and then we're gonna take that paint and we're gonna push it back to the edge so that you can see that you know, the edge is covered here, uh, so we don't have the white there. And then once we have that there, now we're gonna pull this paint all the way through the painting. And we're just kind of pulling it really slowly, really slowly. And yeah, I'm pretty sure that that's been the issue all along because that actually made like a really nice thick uh, sheen. I'm gonna kind of show it to you guys if you can see it. Um, but it's got like a really nice uh, thickness to it. So I'm pretty sure that that has been the issue all along. All right, so for the next layer, we're just gonna do the same thing. We're gonna go the same direction, uh, but this time we're gonna do black and then we'll do white and then gold. So we'll go ahead and put it into a really thick layer here. Um, and you have to think that that first layer was dry. So it's really, um, I was really just kind of pulling that paint across the dry, you know, the dry canvas. So it's not gonna go very far. But now that we have some paint on the canvas, we're gonna push it again to the edge. And then we're gonna slowly pull this black through. Actually, have a pretty cool effect um, going on here. I really actually like those waves a lot. Um, but we're gonna keep going, and we're gonna we're gonna actually rotate it. So now we're gonna turn it this way, and we're going to put the white on there, and we're gonna pull it downwards, and then maybe with the gold, we'll kind of go back this way. I don't want to keep flipping it, going different directions. The problem with that is that. 
then they'll they'll start to mix because uh, you're going against the the initial way you were going. So it starts to like mix those colors. But the reason I want to go down this way is to kind of fill in some of these blank spots. So we're gonna take that white, we're gonna push it out to the edge, and then we're really gonna just push into the paint to try to spread it as far as we can. It's actually uh, it's pretty cool I do like it um, and I since I didn't paint the background um, you know we're gonna keep seeing this raw canvas if I had painted the background you know that actually wouldn't be an issue so that is kind of on me for for not doing that um, but I kind of wanted to see if we could get it with the thicker colors I think honestly we, we probably still do have to paint the background because I've already gone over it you know what three layers now and it's still, we still have this pocket. So I guess the only thing I really could do is go against the grain. I don't really want to, or I don't know how that's gonna turn out, but you know what? We're just all about having fun here and, and kind of messing around to, to see what it turns out like. So, you know what, screw it. We'll just go ahead and do it and see how it turns out. So we'll go ahead and uh, throw our gold on. And I think that we're probably gonna end up the painting, end up with the painting as the red and the black. But we'll go ahead and throw some gold on there and we'll just see what happens. If it turns out good, great, then we've got a great painting. If it doesn't, then, you know, we kind of learn from it. Come on, gold, you know you wanna. You wanna go on the painting. Oh, okay. Ah, okay, yep. Yeah. All right. Uh, maybe I'll put this paint upside down so I can kind of drop through. All right, so again, take our scraper, push the gold to the edge so you can see that it's there, and then pull it through. And we'll go a little bit slower to see if we can kind of fill in any of the gaps. So we have a lot of color variation here and we did fill in all the gaps. So now the whole painting is covered. Um, however, now we're starting to run into an issue because we've run over it so many times. Um, I'm going to, I'm going to hold it up to you guys to see if you can see these little ripples here, the red and like pink right here, uh, towards the bottom. You kind of see like there's these little weird ripples. It almost looks like, the skin that would grow on like milk. And that happens when the binders of the paint start to rip apart. Um, this usually comes from over scraping um, or pushing down too hard on the paint over and over again. You know, if this was higher quality paint, you would, you may not see that as much, but I think even on higher quality paint, you, you'd still see it to some degree. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're going to go ahead and we're gonna put the we're gonna do the red and then the black one last time, but we're not going to crush the paint anymore because we've got uh, we've got our layers, we've got uh, enough paint on here that you know the, the background is covered. So we're gonna go ahead and run black down the top, and then we're going to finish with red um, going the other direction. So we're just gonna put the thick layer of, of black to kind of 
finish off the uh, this layer here. All right, I think that's good. Push it to the edge, and we're gonna pull it along. But this time we're not gonna we're not gonna crush it. We're just gonna kind of. We've lost the black. We, uh, we've over scraped too many times. So you want a lesson to, to learn from. Um, pushing too hard on these layers will crush them apparently. And you know, even doing these paintings, I, I don't know everything about them. I'm still learning them as we go. So you're kind of learning with me. Um, so apparently if you, you know, push them too hard, you crush that paint and it, and it breaks the binders. So, I mean, it's good for, for you to know if you ever want to do these paintings. So we'll just kind of pull this through, see if we can get something salvageable out of it. And we'll call it good. So... Let's look at this painting together. Um, it's kind of a terrible mess and I hate it. But, I mean, again, had I not done it with you to learn, um, you know, I wouldn't have been able to share that with you. So, let me take my gloves off and we'll kind of take a look at it, okay? Looks like some dust on my camera. Okay, so right off the bat, with the reflection of the light the way that it is, you can kind of see the ripples here. And then if we get a little bit closer, you can see the, the little bumps that have occurred in the paint, okay? And again, I'm pretty sure that's from the binders breaking apart in the paint because we've crushed it. So we basically, what happened is, or at least I believe, is that we've pushed it so hard that we crushed the paint and then ripped it apart. So we, we pulled those binders apart because we pushed so hard. I think if I had not scraped so hard, that probably wouldn't have happened. So that's a lesson learned on my end. You know, I, I didn't uh, know that. I've, I've seen it happen, but I didn't know exactly what caused it, but I'm pretty sure in doing that, um, that's when that started to occur was when I pushed harder into it. So just a note for you guys, something to learn from if you wanna make these, you know, Richter and style painting, inspired i always say in style inspired or richter in style oh gosh i'm gonna go to bed um <laughs> these this style of painting uh don't push too hard or, or it breaks those binders or use maybe uh super expensive paint but not everybody can afford that and uh it may still do it to expensive paint so you know the the goal here apparently is not to to crush the paint um, but to, you know, give it enough that it covers the whole thing. So I'm going to recommend that, you know, you paint the background because if you don't paint the background, you're going to see that white uh, come through the painting for a, a long time. Unless you're going for the white, then that's cool. But, you know, if you're not and you don't want to see that raw canvas show through, base coat the background. I mean, even Richter does that. And I just kind of didn't because I wanted to see, you know, if we could just stack the layers. But apparently, if you try to do that too much, it, it messes it up. So... Anyway, uh, I would say that this was not a successful painting. It looks kind of cool on the surface, but I would definitely not try to sell this thing. You know, it's got a lot of flaws, and I just don't like the color scheme that kind of came out of it. So overall, I would say not successful for me, but again, a learning process. So we got to learn together. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that video. I will uh, see you guys in the next one, and hopefully won't make the same mistake again. I might even use the same colors, and we'll try it again, or... You know, we'll do something different. We'll see. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Take care. God bless. And see you in the next one.